Now, before we go on and critique this channel, which I find extremely fascinating, not only just to show how ridiculous this all is, I want you guys please not to go and hate on these people because that is just going to be seen as targeted harassment. Take this more as me showing to the class, hey, let's just laugh at this stupid thing, really. I don't want to take it any further than that, and I trust you guys in that. So a while back, I covered a video from this channel called the 10 Super Smash Bros. characters who are OP and 10 who are worthless. To say the least, this is one of the very worst Smash Bros. videos I ever watched, and the main reason behind it was that the video was very low quality to the point where it pretty much made it seem like the people who made this video did not care in any capacity to use Google for more than five seconds to fact check anything they said. Normally it's okay to make one or two mistakes per video, but pretty much every single thing they claimed in this video was wrong. So as a conclusion, we decided to watch through this video, critique it, we laughed at it. I mean, as you can see, you guys pretty much came in here and just massively disliked this video, which already had over a thousand dislikes. This video didn't have that many views before we reviewed it. But then obviously after this video became more well known, then the dislikes were heavily, <laughs> heavily applied. And I came in with a, with a meme like here, <laughs> with a meme thumbs up. I mean, I even dropped a nice comment and all that. So this video was published by The Gamer. Now I decided to do some research on The Gamer and it turns out that this is one of the most heavily disliked gaming channels on all of YouTube. Not only do they make a lot of Nintendo videos, Smash Bros videos, but also videos for gaming in general. A lot of people seem to dislike this channel simply because it lacks quality, it lacks research, and not only does it feel like a faceless corporate channel trying to push ads on products onto you, but the majority of their videos just simply feel like our cash graphs and have no substance to them. Now, I was very interested to see what other Smash Bros videos they have made. If they made one such bad video and they seem to have such bad rep, then they probably made more videos like that. To the surprise of literally nobody, Yes, they did. Yes, they very much did. Now, one of the very first critiques that people go when they want to critique the gamer is their insanely clickbaity thumbnails, their overuse of arrows and shadow characters, and just in general, they're just trying very, very hard to make you to click their videos. And that is generally one main point of complaint from pretty much every single review video that I've seen over this channel, because I am not the first person to rant over this corporate channel. Coming from a massive clickbaiter such as myself, I simply will give them a pass on these thumbnails because, well, you know, I also clickbait in my thumbnails. The majority of YouTube channels also clickbait from big channels to small channels. It's just pretty much how you play the game. Now, the problem that I have with their thumbnails is not necessarily that the thumbnails are trying a little too hard to make you click on them, but it's that a lot of the time these thumbnails aren't just misleading, but are just straight up lies or just have absolutely nothing to do with the video. It is in my opinion that clickbait is usually okay when at least the topic that you're clickbaiting has something to do with the video. For example, if you're going to clickbait some type of review over a character, it is okay to camouflage it a little bit to make it more interesting for people to watch. But what the gamer generally does is that they'll make a clickbait, making it seem like they're going to tell you the eight or smash ultimate secrets you may not know. But then really when you watch the video, there is just no secrets to be found. And it is mostly just random details that they found off of a list, probably from someone else off of Google. Thanks to the recent Nintendo Direct, we now know of some additional fighters getting added to the game. Characters from Castlevania are finally coming to the franchise in the form of Simon and Richter Belmont. So not only do you click on thumbnails that look good, but then you feel cheated out of content that doesn't really exist within the videos. Now that is the problem with the clickbait that they use, is that a lot of the time it doesn't really align with the content that they end up making and the content that the person ends up watching, which a lot of time for the viewer makes them feel like they just straight up got lied and cheated. One very good example of them actually cheating out the viewer is that they made this video four months ago called the 10 weirdest glitches in Smash Bros. Now you may notice that this thumbnail looks a little weird and the background for some reason is the melee character selection screen, but it's green. The problem with this thumbnail you cannot really see anymore because they edited it out. But the funny part is that the actual controller that was on the screen was actually an Xbox controller and not a GameCube controller because the people that make content for this channel don't even play smash bros now i know that may sound really rude for me to say but i just want you to watch this clip real quick because you can clearly tell that the people that either make the script the people that are usually read the script don't really play video games in general let alone smash because i know for a fact nobody that actually play these games will pronounce the characters in any capacity especially because when you select the characters or win with them you actually hear the announcer say the names. So I know for a fact they don't play these games. She just has the exact same moves as Peach. We even have Dark Samus, who's an Echo Fighter to Samus, obviously. Chrome. Of course, Samus. To Samus, obviously. Chrome, who's Roy's Echo Fighter. And Ken, who's Ryu's Echo Fighter. Oh my goodness. We have Chrome from Google Chrome, and then we have Ryu from, from Ragu the Sauce. <laughs> 
pretty much any other videos that you pick out and watch, you can honestly see a lot of examples of them straight up just mispronouncing character names. I mean, they even mispronounced the name of pretty much the main person behind Smash. When you look at all the details Sakurai puts into this game- Sakurai. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just funny because it comes down to a point where I know the person who's reading the script has never played Smash Bros in his entire life. Neither does the person editing the video because he'll literally watch this video and he'll say, hey man, I don't think you're pronouncing these things right. And pretty much anybody involved with the production of these videos probably even has an idea. And I think the reason behind this is the fact that a lot of the videos that the gamer makes are honestly just made to just grab views and they're not really there to entertain the viewer in any capacity. So for example, what are their most watched videos? PS5 versus Xbox 2. 10 Minecraft World Records, the game wants you to dot dot dot. Oh, so we have Booty in the thumbnail. GTA Rumors. Arrow, 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 arrow. Chrome, arrow. I mean, you get the point. They seem to focus quite a bit on console wars, on GTA, on Minecraft, on Fortnite. I mean, it's very clear that they're just playing the corporate game for views. And honestly, I don't really have much of an issue with it. The problem is that if you're going to be a channel with 1.5 million subscribers, and you're going to be putting out daily videos in this capacity, I really think you guys should step up the quality of your videos. Now, keep in mind, I'm not gonna sit and watch through all of their gaming videos because God forbid they have made thousands of videos and I'm not gonna sit through all of that and watch that, but I am going to watch the Smash Bros stuff. Now, in their eight Super Smash Bros Ultimate secrets, you may not know, I noticed that the day they're actually releasing this video, Ultimate wasn't even out. So how come they can make a video about the secrets in the game you don't know when the game hasn't really even released? Not only did Nintendo announce every single past roster character would be returning, but a number of new players were added to the mix. And they'll add a lot of diversity to the battle with other players. In one minute watching this video, I have learned absolutely nothing of the video coming up. And it is literally seems like they're just reading the script off of Wikipedia on what Smash Bros is. It's almost as if the person reading the script is educating himself on what Smash Bros is. Because I don't think anyone in the comments down below was wondering what Smash Bros was about in the first place. Thanks to the recent Nintendo Direct, we now know of some additional fighters getting added to the game. Characters from Castlevania are finally coming to the franchise in the form of Simon and Richter Belmont. Oh, they actually pronounced the names correctly there. The gamer gets one point on the score. The Dracula's castle stage looks to be a spectacular dark level. Dracula will serve as a boss in the arena and the level looks like one of the best in the whole game. Wait, that was the secret? That was the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate secret in all caps that you may not know? Within almost two minutes into the video? I, I, I don't understand why they're making this seem like it's a secret. Like what, that the person who is watching this video just did not have internet and they just missed out on all this? Because I do not understand the audience. And this is the problem that I have with this channel in general, is that they're going to purposely use these big words on content that doesn't even make sense of what they're putting out. The first signs of New Donk City getting added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate were seen on Mario's official fighter page. The background image features a large city hall skyscraper. Wait, this stage is not even the Super Mario Odyssey stage. They're literally talking about a stage that's not even the one on the screen. That's how you know the fronts. I just love how uh, we've been watching this for two minutes and 22 seconds. And so far we know a secret, a character is coming a stage is coming and then another stage is coming because i'm sure nintendo was hiding all of this information and not releasing all of it in pretty much monthly updates or bi-monthly updates in their own platform you know i just love how the comments in this video are click bit click bit click bit if they're announced how are they secrets how useless any good smash fan already knows all of this but none of these are secrets but when a noob picks up a controller oh you mean you guys <laughs> Jesus Christ. I literally skipped to the end of the video because I just did not want to bear it with the fact that they probably did the same thing throughout the whole video. I, it's just it's just unbearable. I did not want to watch the rest. In every single one of their videos, there's just a disproportionate amount of dislikes. And if you look at the comments, everybody is complaining about the video. I unsubscribe because you said Luigi is one of the worst characters. He forgot to say this. Can you stop doing this? But what baffles me is that they've been doing this for years. Like these are not new videos. Some of them are up to two years of age and they definitely did this with Smash 4 as well. They don't even address any of the critique from the people watching their content. I mean, you will figure out they're making one or two stupid videos that they will, you know, get the hint that people are not enjoying them, right? And it will land them in a bad spot, but they just kept going and they don't seem to give a crap about what anyone says about any of these videos. It baffles me how a year later, after making that awful eight seekers that you may never know about Smash, they made the exact same recycled video with the exact same type of trickery where they make it seem like you're going to learn something amazing about the game and the thumbnail has Luigi going all, you know, 
with the classic YouTuber O face that, you know, I'm sure this YouTuber right here has not done a hundred times, but that's not all is that they recycle the same style that they did. You learn absolutely nothing and they just tell you things that you will probably know if you even played the game once. What I love is that they actually made this video, which didn't really get that many views compared to their usual vi videos that get hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate top place the first few weeks highlights compilation. I feel like they noticed a lot of channels compiling videos from everyone else and making these compilations for easy views and they wanted to jump into that sweet revenue and i feel like after this video tanked then they stopped because this is the only highlight that i've seen from their channel now what kills me here is that they call it the top place of the first few weeks however you can very clearly tell that the person who made this video does not play smash bros in any capacity Simon Belmont is the whip-wielding vampire hunter from Castlevania, and fair play to Rodriguez Jr. Gaming for helping him see off both Bayonetta and Dark Pit on 9.9 .9 intensity. Yeah, that was the top play in December. This this dude beating the computer on 9.9 .9 with with Simon. Yeah, that that was the play of the of the month. It is unbelievable how lazy the gamer is. They really do not understand at all the subject that they're making videos about. It is honestly as shameless as it could be. Like if they show this video to any person who plays Smash, they would just go on and tell them, hey, I think this video will not do you any favors. That was almost a 30 second clip. I wasn't even gonna bother showing you the whole clip, but that was 30 seconds of Simon running around doing nothing, finally landing a force smash. That was one of your top plays. Now, if you think that was a one-off where, you know what, whatever, we'll give them a pass. Maybe they didn't know that was boring. Maybe that they only did that once in the video. No, it's actually Riddle all throughout the freaking video. Right here, they did it again. And guess what? We already covered Beer Bear. I remember we talked about Beer Bear and he actually came over to my channel's comment section. So chat shout outs to Beer Bear. But look, Beer Bear, once again, the legend right here, they talk about him beating a computer with Kirby. Be a very good choice in Ultimate, but when you see Beer Bear turn what looks like a loss into a win against Pac-Man, you'll want to play as him. Funny because Beer Bear commented that he doesn't even play Smash and he played like those couple times and then the gamer used like all of his videos and he was like, why did they do that? <laughs> You seriously just cannot make this up. I love how it's just quiet video the whole time. Generally, when people take clips from other places, you're supposed to add some sort of commentary. You're supposed to make it interesting. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of just like almost just taken from someone else. You want to add your own value and kind of use their footage to complement what you're already making right that's the whole point of you know being able to use the youtube ecosystem to use videos from other people however here they're just pretty much letting the clips play by themselves while the guy talks for like two three seconds and that's it that that seems to be the recipe for the entire video so i mean what he's gonna talk for like a minute or like maybe two minutes of an 11 minute video i feel like they're putting in way less than they're taking you know what i'm saying i'm looking at the list of people that they took content from oh they actually yep yeah, they took a clip from me <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the comments. I need to see other comments. Wait, how are these highlights? I thought I was actually going to see skill when I clicked this video. These people are going against CPUs and almost losing. Not really tough. And one of those clips isn't even ultimate. Wait, there's a clip that's not even ultimate? Quite know what to make oh of King Oh my DVD. God. They did not. They did not. They did not add a clip of Smash 4 on a Smash Bros. Ultimate compilation the month the game came out. They really made this video with the intention to blow up and they seriously put a clip from Smash 4 in. I was upset already at them picking such awful, awful clips, but they go and pick the wrong game. How disrespectful can they even be? I feel like the, the deeper that I dive into these people, the more mediocre they seem to be. The size the hammer-wielding monarch can achieve while hanging from an edge is pretty impressive. The Ding Dong was a reliable kill combo and Bowser's neutral wear dealt a ton of damage. It's true that D- Wait, I like how they grabbed a top plate, but it seems to be like a commentary video from someone else. So you just hear this out of context and it just sounds so awkward, dude. So here we have the best place of the first few weeks. People beating CPUs and Smash 4. 
You all done did it, the gamer. If I had to recommend a gaming channel to all my buddies, man, the gamer. Now that's a channel where you'll find some Smash Bros quality. Yep, more computers. Fool me once, <laughs> fool me twice. <laughs> Jesus. How many more times are they going to make the same video? Just title in slightly different ways, a couple months apart. It's like they basically assume that their viewers are just not gonna notice. It's the same video recycled three times in different names. Ultimate already has its tier list. While the top of the list are characters like Pikachu, Diddy, and- Oh, so that's Diddy Kong. Thank you. You know, I couldn't tell which one was Diddy and I'm really glad that the gamer made us to educate me to know which one of the two is Diddy. You know, at some point I felt like maybe I was being too harsh while criticizing this channel because, hey, you know what? Maybe the person editing was editing up at 3 a.m. trying to finish up a video and they were tired and they did not check it. And you know what? Sometimes the guy can mispronounce one or two or three characters name. You know, it happens. I'm foreigner. I do it all the time. I mispronounce things all the time. But what I see for a period of pretty much two years of them purposely lying to their audience about titles hinting to videos that are not even the purpose of the video about them talking about things that don't even happen in the videos themselves whatsoever, about them adding wrong game footage, about them adding Xbox controllers when talking about Smash, about them just doing all these mistakes, you begin to learn that these are not mistakes. This is just how bad they are. Yep. Snake's crawling ability was nerfed in Smash 4. Oh, Snake was nerfed in Smash 4. Matter of fact, I think he was not in the game in any capacity not as a dlc not as a secret character definitely not one of your eight secrets the gamer i think the character plainly was just not in that game bro i think you might have been thinking of another game maybe because you didn't play them i love how the comments just keep on piling on dude research you got so many things wrong snakes crawling was nerfed in smash 4 snake and pokemon trainer were not in smash 4 oh they also said pokemon trainer wasn't smash 4 doesn't even surprise me i don't even have to watch the video to believe that now, for some constructive criticism where these people can learn how to make better videos, if you're going to clickbait about a certain topic, at the very least, have that topic in a reasonable manner in the video. If you're going to make a top 10 secrets in Smash, at least have some sort of secrets, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to talk about a game, at least have the correct game footage. If you're not sure because you don't really play these games, at least bring out an expert or bring out someone that actually plays these games and ask as you're editing the video, hey, does this look right to you? The problem with a lot of these videos is that it really seems like they finished up the video in first draft and they just released them and called it a day. They don't even read the comments. And that's another problem. They don't even read their comments on their videos. They actually listen to the people that do watch their content. They would have stopped making this type of mediocre content a long while ago because the people in the comments are calling them out with timestamps. Hey, you added the wrong game footage. That's not how you pronounce the character. Hey, this is not even the type of video that you're talking about in your title. You know, all these type of mistakes can be prevented by them just listening to their community, which they're not. So, I mean, let's add that to a critique. Listen to your community, the gamer. Do you want your videos to be better or do you want them to just keep being mediocre cash grabs for pretty much nobody to enjoy? Because I think these people are hate watching your videos. I don't think they're watching them and saying, man, <laughs> the gamer, man. Mm. <laughs> Best content I've watched on YouTube, you know? Whether you find it funny that this channel exists in general, I definitely find it more of the funny side because I feel like I can just watch these videos and laugh. It's almost like unintended comedy to me or sad that these videos happen to get a lot of views for some reason. But either way, I was happy to show this to you today. With that said, guys, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you guys want to keep up with all my daily uploads. And I'll see you guys around in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.